Cordes first! This... Cordes! Cordes! Rain and fog, but steaming, thick and hot. <laughs> 
Like the mist in a slaughterhouse. Why are they howling? What are they dragging through the streets? They carry stakes, but what's impaled on those stakes? Why do they hop? What are they dancing for? Why are they wrapped with laughter? Why do the children scream? What are those heaps they fight over? Those heaps with eyes and mouths. What kind of town is this? Hack buttocks lying in the streets. What are all these faces? Soon these faces will close around me. These eyes and mouths will call me to join them. Now it's happening and you can't stop it happening. The people used to suffer everything. Now, they take their revenge. You are watching that revenge, and you don't remember that you drove the people to it. Now you protest, but it's too late to start crying over spilt blood. What is the blood of these aristocrats compared with the blood that the people shed for you? What are a few looted mansions compared with their looted lives? Many of them had their throats slit by your gangs. Many of them died more slowly in your workshop. So what is this sacrifice compared with the sacrifice the people made to keep you fat? You don't care if the <coughs> foreign armies with whom you're making secret deals march in and massacre the people. You want the people to be wiped yeah. out so that you can flourish. And when they are wiped out, not a muscle will twitch yes. in your puffy, bourgeois face. Yes. You are all twisted up with yes. anger and disgust. The shot, Sarge. Yes. I won't allow this. I really cannot call this education. It isn't making my patients any better. They are becoming overexcited. Yes. And after all, we invited the public here to show them that not all of our patients are social lepers. Yes. We only show these people massacred because it indisputably occurred. Please sit and watch these barbarous displays which could not happen nowadays. The men of that time, mostly now demise, were primitive. We are more civilized. Up there, on the scaffold, you stand completely still and stare further than your executioners can see. That is how I will stand when this is all over. Look at them, Mara. These men who once owned everything. See how they turn their defeat into victory. Now all their pleasures have been taken away. The guillotine saves them from endless boredom. Daily they offer their heads, as if for coronation. Is that not the pinnacle of perversion? I read in one of your books, this sad, in one of your immortal works, the basis of all of life is death. <coughs> Correct, man. But man has given a false importance to death. Every plant, animal, or man that dies adds to nature's compost heap becomes the manure without which nothing could grow, nothing could be created. Death is simply a part of the process. Every death, even the cruelest death, drowns in the total indifference of nature. Nature herself would watch unmoved if we destroyed the entire human race. I hate nature. This Passionless spectator, this unbreakable iceberg face that can bear anything, this goads us to greater and greater acts. <gasps> Haven't we always beaten down those weaker than ourselves? <clears throat> Haven't we torn at their throats with continuous villainy and lust? Haven't we experimented no. in our laboratories before applying the final solution? 